Hello students. In the last class, we studied what is direct and indirect speech. Today, we are going to learn the steps, the rules to change from direct to indirect speech. As I told you in the last class that there are certain rules that we have to keep in mind while changing the sentence from direct to indirect. So today we are going to see those rules and they are very important and they are very easy once you understand it is very easy to convert a direct speech into indirect speech only few uh, basic things that you have to keep in mind. So let's start with an example. Rina said it is a beautiful dress. As you can see, this sentence is in direct speech. Rina said, comma, then inverted comma, it is a beautiful dress. Punctuation mark, inverted comma, close. That is the exact word of the speaker. This is a quote. So we know this is the direct speech. This you already have understood. Now if I change it into indirect, Rina said, now see children, first thing you have to keep in mind is that this comma will be removed in indirect speech. This, in place of this comma, we will write that. Mostly that word is used. So, Rina said that. Now, both the inverted commas will be removed. In indirect speech, we do not put inverted commas before and after the words of speaker. So, we will remove this inverted commas. So, Rina said that, now no need to write uh, from a, a capital L, okay, because we are writing after the inverted comma. So, here we use capital I. But here, since it's the one sentence, same sentence, so we will not use capital L. Rina said that it, now, in indirect speech, the tense changes. It will become was. There are few rules for this also that I am going to tell you soon. So, it becomes was. Rina said that it was a beautiful dress. And then we put full stop. So, you see that this comma is removed. In place of this comma, we put the word that. Both the inverted commas are removed. And a text changes from simple present to simple past. It was a beautiful dress. Now, uh, this is a like, simple assertive sentence. But if the sentence is um, interrogative sentence or imperative sentence, then we in uh, indirect speech we write it as assertive sentence only. He said. Do you want some coffee? He said, do you want some coffee? Now this sentence is an interrogative sentence. Question is there. Now if we want to change it into indirect speech, we have to change this interrogative sentence into simple assertive sentence okay so he said do you want some coffee he's asking me if i want some coffee so how will you write so he's asking question right it is a question so this reporting verb or the verb of speaking or we say the reporting verb we change it into he asked he asked me okay the said will change into he asked me if the sentence is a request um, he said um, please uh, uh, take some coffee so we'll say he requested me it will change into requested so this reporting word verbs changes according to the sentence if it is a, an um, order or command then what reporting word can be used he um, demanded or he uh, 
commanded like my mother um, asked me uh, where have you been since morning so my mother demanded means she's not asking a question she's just demanding the reply so if there is a command or dem uh, demand or order of kind of sentence then we can say demanded or commanded so accordingly we can change the reporting verb according to the sentence so in this sentence it is a question okay asking so what i'll say he asked me if now in indirect speech pronouns changes okay so you becomes i because this question has put to me so i will say he asked me if i want will become wanted simple present will change into simple past so want becomes wanted if i wanted some coffee so don't get confused we will see more examples he said do you want some coffee he asked me if you becomes i want becomes wanted if i wanted some coffee so we see that interrogative sentence changes into assertive sentence so children changing direct speech into indirect speech first thing that you have to keep in mind is tense of the verb the pronouns and the words denoting time changes okay tense of the verb like i said simple present changes into simple past simple past changes into past perfect and so on i will give you the table that will be clear to you so tense of the verb changes that is the first thing pronouns like if for example she said i am un well so what will be the indirect speech she said that now see the pronoun i changes into she because we are talking about she the girl who said it so i becomes she so this shows that the pronoun changes she said i when will she said that she now see tense is changing am when present will become past simple past she was un well second is and the words denoting time like i told you in the last class the words which changes now becomes then today becomes uh, that day yesterday becomes the previous day tomorrow becomes the following day or the next day uh, uh, la last week becomes the previous week so like this the words that denote time changes for example in the same sentence if i write she said i am unwell today so today will become what she said that she was unwell that day so these are the words which denotes time next thing students if the now we see that mostly the reporting verb or the verb of speaking is in past tense like said told asked requested demanded these are all in past tense but if the reporting verb in the direct speech is in present tense then we will not make any changes in the tense in the indirect speech for example she says i am pretty okay she says i am pretty now see the reporting verb or the verb of speaking is says now here we see saw that it is said past tense but here the reporting verb is in present tense if the reporting verb is in present tense then we do not make any changes in the tense uh on the verb in the uh, indirect speech so how it will be she says that pronoun will obviously change i will become she because she is talking about herself not about me she says that she simple present will remain simple present i am will become she is it is also simple present and this is also simple present she says that she is pretty okay if the sentence was like she said i am pretty then it will be she said that she was pretty we will change but here the reporting verb is in 
present tense. So she says that she is free to be. Have not changed the tense of the verb in indirect speech. I hope this is clear. When the reporting verb is in present tense, we do not change the verb in the indirect speech. It remains in the same tense. Okay. Next is if the reporting verb in the direct speech is in past tense, then we change the tense in indirect. speech in the following ways before that i said that if the reporting verb in the direct speech is in present tense then we do not make any change in the tense the present tense remains present tense but if the reporting verb is in past tense like he said he told he asked he requested so all the reporting verbs are in past tense then we make the changes in the tense and how do we make these changes if you see this table it will be clear So in indirect speech, if the verb is in simple present, we change it into simple past. For example, for example, Rohan said, "I am sick." Rohan said, "I am sick." Reporting verb is in past tense. Okay, so we have to make the changes here. Now, see, simple, simple present. I am is simple present, so simple present will change into simple past. So simply, I am will am will become was. I will become because it is male Rohan, so it will become he. Sick remains same. So what will be Rohan? said in place of comma we put that so rohan said that he was sick so we see that simple present changed to simple past okay next is present continuous changes to past continuous if we see the example he said i am going to delhi he said i am going to delhi now i am going is present continuous tense so present continuous tense changes to past continuous so what it will be he said in place of comma we put that i becomes he am going will become was going present continuous will be changed to past continuous so he was going to delhi he was going to delhi so we see that simple present changes to simple past and present continuous changes to past continuous next we see if the sentence is in present perfect tense in direct speech But in indirect speech, it has to be in the past perfect tense. Example: She said, "My mother has come." my mother has come back now see has come is in the present perfect tense right has come is in the present perfect tense present perfect tense changes to past perfect so what it will be she said that my mother will become her mother my pronoun will change so it will be her mother has come will become had come okay had come back now you see present perfect changes to past perfect so here present perfect has come has changed to past perfect had come ma she said that her mother had come back next if the sentence in the direct speech is in simple 
सिंपल पास टेंस दैट इट इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच इट चेंजेस इन टू पास परफेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल शी सेट आई केम बैक यस डे आई केम बैक Yes, Now see here, came is simple past tense. Simple past tense has to change into past perfect. So what will be the indirect speech? She said that I will become she. She came will become had come. Uh, past perfect is had come. She had come back now. Yesterday will become the day before. I told you know the verbs denoting time also changes in indirect speech. So yesterday will be the day before. So she said that she had come back the day before. The day before. So simple past has changed into past perfect. One more we see past continuous changes into past perfect continuous. Okay. She said I was feeling well. Now in indirect speech, she said that I becomes she. Pronoun changes. She now was feeling is in past continuous tense. Past continuous changes into past perfect continuous. And how do we make past perfect continuous? We add the helping verb had been plus verb plus ing. Okay, had been plus verb plus ing. So it will be she had been feeling. Well, so this is how past continuous changes into past perfect continuous. So don't get confused; it is very easy. You just have to keep these change of verbs in mind. Pronounce changes like I becomes he or she, whatever it is like used. Okay, pronounce changes that tense changes simple present to simple past, past present continuous to past continuous, present perfect to past perfect. Simple past to past perfect and past continuous to past perfect continuous. If the sentence is in past perfect, then there will be no change in the indirect speech. If suppose in the direct speech the per sentence is in per past perfect tense, then there will be no change. If the sentence is in past perfect continuous, then also there will be no change. And also if the sentence is Uh, telling something about universal truth, then also there will be no change. For example, if I say, my teacher said, uh, water. Boils at hundred degree Celsius. My teacher said water boils at hundred degree Celsius. No, this is the universal truth. This is the fact. Okay. So in indirect speech also we will not make any changes. Right? My teacher said that. Water. Now you will not make boils to boil like water boiled at hundred degree centigrade. So it will be like earlier it used to boil. Now it is not boiling at hundred. It is not so. It is a fact. It is a universal truth. So it remains the same. My teacher said that water boils. So boils remain same. No change at hundred degree. Celsius. Or for example, my teacher said the sun rises in the east. Okay, so this is also universal truth. It is not like one day it is rising in the east and the other day it is rising in the west. 
so this will also remain same my teacher said that the sun rises in the east so if the sentence is uh, like telling some universal truth or some facts then we do not make any changes in the indirect speech in the verb okay so this is how we are changing the tense of direct uh, speech uh, into indirect speech simple present simple past present continuous past continuous present perfect past perfect simple past changes to past perfect past continuous changes to past perfect continuous and if the sentence uh, is in past perfect or past perfect continuous there will be no change and if the sentence is telling some universal truth then also there will be no change so i hope it is clear to you how we change sentence from direct to indirect speech please go through the chapter once again and then if you see the example it will be more clear to you thank you